Since June of this year, several provinces in southern China have been hit by heavy rains that have produced devastating effects, particularly within the Guizhou province. Relying on data provided by the Provincial Meteorological Observatory, local media there are forecasting record rainfalls and flooding from June 21st to the 24th. And compared to previous years, the 2020 flooding season is likely to last longer and result in far more damage to the region. Weather forecasters suggest the maximum hourly rainfall intensity may reach 50 to up to 100 millimeters, with a cumulative amount of rain reaching as high as 200 millimeters. Some areas may exceed 250 millimeters, resulting in a high probability of flooding and other geological disasters. At 1800 on June 21st, the Guizhou Provincial Department of Water Resources and the Provincial Meteorological Bureau jointly issued a 24-hour weather alert with 13 counties in yellow warning and 21 in blue warning. A well-known financial commentator known as Ku Financial Eyes also tweeted that many towns and villages in Zhuangzi, Guizhou, were flooded while six towns and villages in the northern Tanji County of Sunyi City suffered heavy rains. In the video footage provided, locals watched as the turbulent floodwaters eroded the shorelines and washed away automobiles, causing one onlooker to remark, quote, Several cars are gone and gone without a trace, and rescue workers were seen struggling while attempting to control their rubber rafts. In another video, Zhao Pingping, a correspondent of Mugwatown, Tanji County, reported that as of 9.17 a.m. on June 22nd, floodwaters had risen above a bridge near the Mugwa Middle School and had nearly submerged a popular supermarket. According to China's political and economic publication, Southern Political Window, Mugwatown's last major flooding occurred recently on June 12, when heavy rains there produced upwards of 100.9 millimeters of water. As a result, many streets became impassable and several homes and businesses were damaged. The depth of water in some of the low-lying areas was recorded at 5 meters. Other townships in the region, including Shui Batang and Podu, were also affected by the heavy rains on June 12. Additionally, 12 casualties were reported in Zhang'an County near Tanji County, and sadly, four members of a family mostly children, there were swept away in the floodwaters while they were sleeping. Cool Financial Eyes also tweeted that the Mugwo River flows toward the Shejian River in Chengjing and then onward into the Yangtze River, upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. He also said the Dadu River, Mijiang River, Jialing River, and Wei Jiang River were all in a heightened state of emergency that, quote, heaven does not help the three gorges. Local registrants noted that CCTV was live broadcasting that the Shijiang flood crest passing Shangjing was four meters above the safe water level, while the water level at the three gorges reservoir was close to 147 meters, nearly 2 meters above the official flood control level. <laughs>